Hi guys, Skip here, and I'd like to share with you today three things that I really believe are going to help to improve the quality of your life because they're going to help to get you back in your body. Too many people nowadays, they're up in their minds, they're stressing, they're worried about the past, they're worried about the future, and they're just worried about life in general. And life inside the brain is not going to be a happy, healthy life. So how do we get back in the body? We learn some things that I learned from being a gymnast, from really being groomed to be a champion. And I, even though I've had world-class coaches, I'd like to share some of this information that I've learned with you so you can basically take it today and start applying this stuff. So number one, when I got into gymnastics, I was passionate about it. I loved it. It was like I didn't need a reason to go and do it. I just wanted to do it because it made me feel good. Now, even though when I broke my back, one of my mentors, Bruce Lee, taught me something so simple. Don't think, feel. When you're feeling good in life, life is good. So you want to make sure that whatever you do, you have passion for it. So even though passion is one of the commandments for health, nothing is going to electrify your human body and your mind like passion. And it doesn't matter whether you're growing fruits and vegetables, whether you're building a business, whether you're transforming your anything. When you are passionate about it, you're just electrified. Nothing is going to electrify you like passion. No food, no drug, no drink is passion. So while we're on it now, what are you passionate about or what can you get passionate about? Because you want to, like as human beings, we're on the hunt for electricity 24-7. The more electrified we are, the more alive, the greater we feel. So passion is the key ingredient. And you can be doing anything, but what I suggest you do is you start to apply that passion to you moving your body. Why? Because when you were younger, you did it on instinct. You didn't need to get motivated or to be inspired to go and want to play in the playground. You simply did it on instinct because it felt good. And the more you move in your body in fun ways, the more these endorphins get released, which allows you to simply feel good. So the second thing is get yourself a world-class coach. Not just a coach. You know, coaches can be ten a penny nowadays. And there's a lot of coaches out there that could be doing people more harm than good and I've seen some horrific things on the circuit which coming from a coaching point of view it, it almost breaks my heart because I know that there's a lot of damage being created in the marketplace within people's minds within people's bodies where they're not warming them up correctly they're not cooling them down correctly they're giving people so much stress and pressure that it is having a negative effect whereas when you get a world-class coach that world-class coach can see what you can't see. They see the tiny little shifts that can make the biggest difference. And when you're really moving your body, and this is really about moving your body, because so many people nowadays, they're not moving their bodies in ways that's making them feel good. You know, you want to be feeling good when you look in the mirror. You want to be feeling good when you're walking down the street. You want to be feeling good when you're in your relationships. You want to feel good when you're building a business or working within a business, you want to be feeling good every single day. Now, there are habits that you can learn that can help you do that. Getting a coach is it's just key because they are going to be able to fast track your success. They're going to be able to give you the wisdom that they've learned, which is going to save you making so many mistakes. And not only that, the coach is going to push you when you need coaching, when you're feeling weak, when you're feeling down. Because when I was doing gymnastics, there were days where everything about me did not want to get out of bed. Because we were training eight hours a day. And sometimes it was like, I found it so tough. The body was breaking down. And in that recovery stage, everything was going, stay in bed, do not move, you can't move. And then my coach would be around and be getting me out of bed. And what would he be doing? making sure I'm training that day. And the discipline he gave me, um, I now get to live with every day of my life now. And it's not something I have to practice, it's not something I have to do, it's just built in. So the next thing is simple, reconnecting with your body with instinct. Because when you do that, suddenly you're gonna to start to have more visions, you're gonna to start to have more energy coming through 
your very being. And those three things I can tell you, I know they're going in your mind now, but when you start to actually apply them, they're a game changer. Remember, number one, passion. You've got to breathe passion into everything that you do. Don't even go 60 seconds with not breathing passion into something because then you've missed that gift. The more open you are, the more you will receive the wisdom and the information that the universe has to give us. So number two, get yourself a world-class coach. That simple. Make sure that you're setting yourself up for success and watch how your life just starts to evolve. Because who you hang around is who you become. You start to hang around greatness, greatness is gonna to start to work through you and you will start to live with these habits that champions live with. And the third thing, reconnecting with your body. We've got to be in this thing. It's your body, it's your gift, it was what was given to you. It's the only thing that's with you from the day you're born until the day you pass. So you wanna make sure that you're nourishing it with good thoughts, nourishing it with good food, nourishing it with good relationships. You're, no, you're just nourishing it every single day and you, you're cutting out acidic habits, you're cutting out stress, you're learning things that allow you to focus on things so that you can be in love through your journey through life. The love, what, what's going on here? Love is so powerful. And when you put love into what you do, again, it changes the game. Really hope that these three things, um, you take them, um, you can reject them very, very easy, but I promise you, if you start to apply them, you will notice some big shifts. It's guaranteed, because there's a cause and effect. You can't have a cause without an effect. And you start to apply these, simple, these three simple little things, just see what starts to get manifested through you. Anyway, I'm Skip. Live strong, live healthy, live long. Make sure you live now with a nutrients, oxygen, and water. And for now, I'm out of here.